and welcome back to another Heather Mac Reacts. Today we're going through some more Am I the A-hole stories. And if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I post five times a week, every single week. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into this first Am I the A-hole story. Y'all know how I feel about vegans. Am I the A-hole for giving my son non-vegan food behind my wife's back? No, you're not, <laughs> but let's hear the story. I am 32 male and my wife is 33 female. We have been married for eight years and have a 12 year old son together. About six years ago, my wife decided to go vegan. She was sent the, document the documentary Dominion by a vegan friend of hers. And ever since she said non-vegan food is revolting and refuses to eat it. After a long conversation, I agreed to go vegetarian and be vegan in the house and around her, which she was happy with. She also decided our son would be vegan, which after seeing a dietitian, I also agreed with. Things have been fine with this arrangement until a few months ago when I began finding wrappers from non-vegan candy and even burgers from McDonald's in my son's school bag, which he had been buying with chore money. Okay, so he's revolting in his own way. I had a conversation with my son and he confessed he felt lonely and excluded eating vegan around his friends and that they always had much better candy than he did and it wasn't fair. I decided I didn't want him spending his pocket money on snacks and throwing out the vegan snacks we actually bought him instead of buying games, etc. It made no sense, but I also know the way my wife feels about non-vegan products. So I began buying my son what he wanted on our way to football practice instead. Long story short, my wife recently found Found out what has been going on and completely flipped out. She called me an animal enabler and a few other names and said I was corrupting our son. Now she is not speaking to me. Our son panicked and I told her I had bought the snacks for him and he didn't know they weren't vegan. I don't blame him for that. He just doesn't want to be in trouble with mom. Am I the a-hole here? I swear people look at being vegan like a religion, so I'm gonna treat it like one, and you don't force your religion down someone else's throat. As a parent, you may feel it is your job to introduce your children to that lifestyle, to that religion. However, if by 12, they are not drinking the same Kool-Aid that you are, it's time to let go and to let them make their own decisions in how they want to live, how they want to eat and what they believe. I mean, it's really as simple as freaking that. Oh, they make me mad. They make me mad. And I'm sure there are some perfectly nice vegans out there that just do their own thing, live life the way they want to and don't shove their beliefs down others' throats. But stories like this make me feel like, they're few and far further in between than we thought they were. Absolutely disgusting. No, you're not the a-hole. You are trying to be a good father and she is trying to be a dictator. Let's see what the comments say. Not the a-hole. I think my answer at this point would be our son is old enough to decide what he wants to eat and what his dietary preferences are. If we put him into a situation where he feels he has to hide things from us, that's on us. If your wife is confronting him about this in any kind of intimidating way or trying to make him feel guilty with the same phrases she's using with you, I would prioritize your son and his needs and well being. Crap like this can cause a lot of problems. Yup, if he starts hiding the food he's eating from you, what is he going to hide next because his parents are unreasonable? And yeah, she is guilt tripping you, she is manipulating you. That's not how a relationship is supposed to work. That's not how you're supposed to teach your children. Next says, I agree. She is trying to bully everyone with her choice. Couldn't have said it better myself. Does she forget most of her life eating animals? Now she wants everyone to do what she wants. Yes, putting people in a position to lie is also bullying. 100% agree that mom's behavior is disgusting. I wanna know what you think down in the comments and let's get on to our next story. This says, am I the a-hole? My boyfriend went alone on vacation, met some girls and stopped communicating with me for two days. Sweetheart, that sounds like an ex-boyfriend. 
but okay. My boyfriend, male 36, and I, female 33, have been together for five years. He recently went on vacation alone for about two weeks, which he does occasionally. I'm gonna stop you right there. Is this a work trip? If not, why does your significant other want to take a vacation away from you? Does someone else find that problematic? And it doesn't sound like this is like a boy's vacation in two freaking weeks, two weeks. My husband and I are coming up on our anniversary next month. We'll have been together for 18 years. And in 18 years, we have never spent two weeks apart. Ever, 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 ever. And maybe we're not typical. Maybe that's just us. But what I'm saying is if my boyfriend thought he needed two weeks away from me, I would be questioning what he was doing those two weeks. Again, it doesn't sound like this is like a golf trip with the boys. That's a little different. I also think two weeks is ridiculous to spend with your friends and without your girlfriend. Personally, that's my opinion. However, a week, a weekend with the boys, camping, golfing, fishing, whatever, do what you do. Yeah, that sounds reasonable to me, but spend two weeks away from your significant other. And he's also not 19 years old. He is 36 years old. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Okay, let's keep reading. However, during the last two days of his trip, he didn't communicate with me at all. We usually exchange messages every day, so his silence made me feel insecure. Honey, I think it's the entire relationship making you feel insecure. Despite this, I decided to respect his space and didn't press further. And that is why he is getting away with what he is getting away with. On the third day, I texted asking if he was coming back that day and if he wanted to have dinner the day after. Y'all, are y'all not even living together after five years? I mean, every relationship moves at a different speed, but like at 36 and 33, you shouldn't be dating to just, you can date to just have fun, but five years is a long commitment to make to someone to just have fun. Five years is the amount of time you put in if you're going to marry this person. And if y'all aren't even living together yet, I'm seriously questioning what is happening in this relationship. Again, all relationships move at different paces. Maybe there's a reason, maybe there's sick family involved, but it sounds like he wants his cake Monday through Friday when he can guarantee that you'll be around and he wants to eat it too when he goes on these frequent vacations by himself. Shady AF. When we went out to dinner, even before our food arrived, he told me that he had met up with a friend during his vacation and they had met two girls. It's interesting how that works out and interesting how he's stupid enough to admit it. His friend seemed interested in one of them and he had met these girls right before he stopped communicating with me. All I see is red flags. All I see is red flags. Every sentence is worse than the last. I waited a few minutes to process this and calmly told him that I felt insecure. I mentioned that I found it strange that he hadn't texted me, but I was trying to respect his space. But with this new information about the girls, I didn't know what to think. He said it didn't make any sense for me to feel that way. And we both remained silent for about 10 minutes while having dinner until he exploded. Oh, did he? He said I had no right to feel that way, that it made him feel bad, and that I was being unfairly suspicious. He also mentioned that situations like this would happen again, and I needed to learn how to deal with it. Without giving me a chance to respond, he got up and went to the bathroom. <laughs> what I want to say here is people will only treat you the way you allow them to treat you. And I have never and will never allow any goddamn person, let alone my significant other, to treat me like this. Nay, effing nay. Oh, this girl has backbone. I got so angry that in reaction, that 
that in reaction that I left the restaurant, leaving my food on the table, transferred my share of the dinner to him and went home. He called once and sent a message saying, come back. I didn't answer. This happened yesterday and I don't know what to think. I acknowledge that I shouldn't have left like that and that maybe I shouldn't have been suspicious, but I struggle to express... But I struggle to express my insecurities because it makes me feel vulnerable. Typically, I keep them to myself and let them pass. However, I felt that talking about this was the right thing to do. And I didn't like that he downplayed my feelings and told me to deal with similar situations in the future without consideration. Am I the a-hole? Yeah, you are the a-hole for letting this shit continue. I don't know if I would have gotten up at the restaurant before throwing my goddamn drink in his face. But maybe if I didn't want to make a mess for the servers to clean up, I would have kept my drink to myself. Oh, I would have poured my drink all over his food so he couldn't enjoy it when he got back. Then I would have gotten up, blocked his number and left his ass there. And hopefully y'all drove together and he had to find an Uber home. Are you kidding me? He turned that around on you because he knows he did something he wasn't supposed to and he's feeling guilty about it. So the fact that you threw his guilt in his face angered him. And that's why you got the reaction that you got. Disgusting. Girl, grow a backbone, please, for the love of God. Grow a backbone. Get the hell out of that relationship. Don't walk. Run away from that man because he is wasting your goddamn time. <sighs> y'all I'm mad let's see what the comments say with one of my exes things like that would happen I would think something was a muck he would fly into a rage and leave me wondering if I was just a distrustful person I found out years later that he cheated on me all the time that was my experience not saying that's yours though now I really trust my gut reaction I think that says everything we need to say. Next one says, this is it, he blew up. Then he says, it'll happen again, get over it. This is exactly what OP's partner is doing so she doubts her own sense of sanity. I believe that is called gaslighting. Traveling alone, sure. Meeting people when traveling, sure. Completely changing communication style, then being angry that your partner feels off about it, absolutely not. Actually, I do have a problem with traveling alone, but I've already said my piece and I've said that in my relationship that just would not make any sense. If my husband is traveling somewhere, he's going to want to travel with me because he's going to want to spend that time with me because we like spending time together and that's why we are together. If we didn't like spending our free time together, if we didn't like taking vacations together, we wouldn't still be together almost two decades later. Drop the man, block his number, and run the other way. Disgusting, foolish, I want to vom all over this man. Let me know what you think about that one in the comments and let's get on to our next story. This says, am I the a-hole for not wanting to stop drinking alcohol because of my boyfriend's religion? I said it in the last video about veganism and I'll say it about religion. Do not shove yours down someone else's throat. Your religion is your personal belief, your personal responsibility, your personal choice. And it should not be on anybody else. Let's read the story. My boyfriend, I'm 22 female, he's 22 male, he is Muslim. To give an idea of what kind of Muslim he is, he smokes weed along with his parents, he sometimes goes to casino and we kiss and sometimes perform oral on each other. To love all the exceptions, all the exceptions he makes for himself, but not you. That is what I'm seeing already. However, we are in an argument at the moment because he is telling me I am not allowed to drink alcohol since I'm dating him. I asked him why I'm not allowed to drink alcohol. He says it's bad for your health and can lead to addiction. Sweetheart, smoking weed is also not good for your health. And going to a casino can also lead to addiction. So it's so interested that interesting that you're concerned about her, but not yourself. It's really funny how those things happen, isn't it? I go on to explain to him that any substance, even food, has that effect. Alcohol, when used in moderation, can even be beneficial for the body. I sometimes enjoy having a glass of wine or a tall can of Modelo Chilada every couple of months. I'm telling him that his logic makes no sense. 
but see, you can't make sense to a misogynistic person. He breaks so many rules in his religion, the things I stated above. So what makes drinking alcohol in moderation any worse than any of those other things he does? He can't give me an explanation that makes sense. He says, I just need to listen to him and follow him and understand him. And honey, that is an insight to the rest of your relationship. Listen to him, follow him, understand him. He doesn't have to listen to you. He doesn't have to follow you and he doesn't have to understand you. It is all about him. I said no. Until he can give me an explanation that makes sense, I will not be following his path because he is choosing to be ignorant. He said I'm disrespecting him and his religion because of this. But it makes no sense to me. I feel he is being hypocritical and contradictory. There is no such thing as one sin being worse than the other. Am I the a-hole in this situation? <sighs> I think she knows the answer to this. I really think she does because she seems logical and she seems like she has some common sense. There's an update. After almost two exhausting days of arguing, I have decided to hit the block button on this guy. The straw that broke the camel's back is the conversation that went as follows. We had both said good morning. I dreamt about him and told him about the dream. Then he asked me what I was going to eat. I said, I don't know, and asked him, what about you? Him, you, duh. Also, stop being childish and turn your location back on, please. That seems controlling. Me, yours isn't on and why are you being rude about it? What the F? Ugh, already starting the day with bullshit, thanks. Him, I don't care about mine, LMAO. I'm always safe, smiley face. I care about your safety because at the end of the day, I'm the only person saving your ass. I love you. Just saying, okay, thanks, babe. I know you always got my back. I love you so much. Wow, red flag after red flag after red flag after red flag. Immediately I hit the block button after that. This dude is an effing weirdo and thinks because he makes 220,000 a year and I'm just a nanny that he can disrespect me. I'm just glad he started showing the signs of being an abuser early on so I can get the F out of here. Thank you everyone. That was a lovely ending to a fucked up story. <laughs> Let's see what the comments say. He says, I just need to listen to him and follow him and understand him. Are you willing to be subservient in your relationship and do what the man says because he's the man and you don't get a say? Because that's where this is headed. If you want to give up your autonomy, stay with him. Otherwise, eat out not the a-hole. Next one says, uh, the previous commenter is right. This man is using his religion to control you and hold you to a double standard. Time to leave. 110%. And I'm so glad we finally have a happy ending to an am I the a-hole story because that girl blocked the a-hole and got the hell out. Ah, I want to know what you think about that one down in the comments. Don't forget, we have a playlist of over 175 and my the whole videos up here that you can binge. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.